So at the thinkercat.com, we choose sign in. We sign in with our Google account. So we are going to use circuit. We create a new circuit. Okay, we can change it to all, show all the components. And now we will search all the apparatus we need and then we are going to drop drag and drop it in the simulation regions so we are going to have three resistor okay you might change the orientations of the component by clicking on this rotate button if you want to change the orientations of the component then other than resistor we need a slide switch okay then we need a power supply then a, a multimeter that will function as emitter another multimeter which will function as the wood meter And then we need a variable resistor that we call potential meter. Okay, you can scroll up and down to search for the component, the, the apparatus you need. Okay, we need this one, potential meter. Okay, click on this, switch to list view. You can read through the functions of the apparatus so we need a potential meter whereby is a type of resistor whereby the resistance will change when we turn on a knob so we need this one okay so then for the connecting wire the connecting wire is here so we are going to use the normal type of the connecting wire and then you can change the color of the connecting wire all right so after we have already tried out all the components we need for the experiments we are going to set up the circuit as shown in figure 2.4 we are going to set up the circuit as shown in figure 2.4 using the connecting wire so here is the connecting wire so from the terminal positive of the power supply, I'm going to connect it to the common point of the slide switch. And then from the terminal 1 of the slide switch, I connect it to the wiper of the potential meter. And then from the terminal 1 of potential meter, that act as our real start in this experiment, we are going to connect it to the terminal positive. of our emitter sorry milliemitter and then from the terminal negative of the milliemitter i'm going to connect it to the resistor okay so i'm going to connect three resistors in series so from another end of the resistor i connect it to another resistor so another end of the resistor i connect to one end of the resistor then maybe i change the color so from the sorry okay then from the another side of the resistor i connect it back to the terminal negative of the power supply okay as shown in the figure 2.4 so i'm going to connect the voltage across the resistor the three resistor so from the terminal positive of the voltmeter I'm going to connect it here. So the terminal negative, another side. Okay, going to connect it here. Okay, then I have set up the circuit for the 
experiment so then i before i start the simulations to obtain the reading for the experiment i need to make some adjustment by right clicking or just click on the relevant components okay so we are going to set uh, each of the resistor to the value of 27 ohm so i click on the resistor i change it to this one is r1 the value is 27 ohm then i repeat for the second resistor r2 27 ohm r3 27 ohm all right and then uh, the first multimeter i need to change the mode to ampere because i connect in series i'm going to measure the current in the circuit and then the second multimeter i'm going to change it to the mode of voltage because i connect it parallel to the three resistor in series i'm going to measure the voltage so i can name it as voltmeter all right okay i back to this one i name it as milliampere all right okay then uh, the potential meter that acts as the rheostat the variable resistor we need to set it uh, to a maximum value of 25 ohm means the range of the variable resistance for the rheostat is from 0 to 25 ohm okay so i name it as this is my rheostat all right okay then the power supply so this is my power supply then the voltage i use will be 5 volt all right okay so after i have made all the adjustment according to the requirement for our experiment then i'm going to click on the start simulations button and i'm going to change the resistance value in the potential meter by just drag by adjusting the sliding contact or this wiper okay i'm going to obtain first the minimum value of milliampere and also then i'll record the reading so we press on the start simulations button so i'm going to drag on this one click and drag until the maximum value of the real start so i record the minimum value of the voltmeter reading and also the current okay then i put it back to the initial positions then i need to adjust the sliding contact on the potential meter to change the resistance value for the whole circuit in order to obtain at least six different value of v and i then i'm going to tabulate the data so you just need to click and drag okay so when you increase the resistance of the whole circuit using the real start or the potential meter here then you will find out that the value of the current and voltage across the resistor in series will change so note down the value so get at least six different pair of voltage and current so that later you can plot the graph all right so this is the first part of our experiment whereby we connect the three resistor in series right so after you have already obtained the data then you might plot the graph according to what state what already stated in the procedure of the experiment then determine the effective resistance from the gradient of the graph and then compare the value with the calculated value and then you need to verify the ohm's law from the plotter graph then give comment in your lab report about the verifications of the ohm's law and also the value of re effective resistance you obtain when the three resistors connect in series and parallel from the gradient of the graph that's it